Hi, Sneaky Lips back, and tonight we're looking at Weber Converger. It's a distro base for kiosks in the airports or youth centres or cafes, and it runs from CD, no hard drive required, just a bit of RAM and it'll boot up. Now, this is a page you get when you first boot up. And you've got lots of options there where you can go. So we'll go to BBC News. Comes up really quick. This is quite an old system I'm testing it on. Would be ideal for a youth centre or something like that. Where you just want a bit of web access, etc. etc. As you can see, you click on the page and it zooms up. I've not edited this hardly at all. So you can see how quick it is. Everything's all nice and clear. Flash is standard, so you can watch all your YouTube videos, which we're going to have a look at in a minute. But also you get some other options here too. So you get Facebook, etc, etc. We'll go to YouTube anyway. Click on it. It doesn't take too long. Whoosh, we're straight up into YouTube. Nice and clear too, which is I like. Maybe we'll click on OK, get rid of that at the top. I do hate that on YouTube, but never mind. We'll scroll down a bit and we'll find something to click on. But it won't be a video. We'll just go for a bit of audio just to see that it works, which it does very well. Why you want to just listen to music at the airport, I don't know. But hey, that's not my problem. There you go. Flashes up, starts playing. Back to my home page. We'll go to Mebo. This takes care of all your instant messaging stuff. MSN, Yahoo, MySpace, AOL. Facebook, Jabber, etc, etc. It's all there, so that's not a problem. Now when you click the X, it actually resets itself, so nothing's left in memory, so the next user won't be able to get your bookmarks or anything. So you just set as for new, which is good. Ideal for that little place where you only want people to do the web. So, one click on the desktop and you're back at this page. By the way, you can configure it to have your own desktop, whatever and they will build one for you at a cost but hey so we've gone to Google Docs so if you do some documents or a quick bit of email or etc etc or access your online docs it's there I don't actually use Google Docs I use Zoho so we'll go to the Zoho page here we are I feel Zoho's got more than Google Docs but hey that's just me it's your choice at the end of the day so that's cool with me plenty there to play with. We'll go back to the home page again. There's a few things here I don't like, but hey, it's very small. It boots up really quick. If you leave it on all day just as a CD browser, no problem is it. This is why I'm not too sure of songs are. Is that totally legal? But anyway, it's on the distro so I imagine it could be. So I want to listen to a bit of music while I'm waiting at the airport for my plane six hours later. So we'll go and find one. There you go. Bit of a deal. Just click on play. Now it grabs it from YouTube. So it must be sort of legal. Or maybe not. I'll leave that up to you. And it's only lyrics for you. It's playing down the bottom. You won't hear them because I don't put them online. But hmm, maybe legal. We click the X again and we're back to normal. Nice little kiosk. Lovely jubbly. Sneaky Linux out.